Dear students, it is indeed an honor for me to be talking to the best and the brightest minds in the country, especially on a subject matter like hackathon. We passionately believe that you have the talent within you and also have the drive to succeed and find solutions to difficult challenges posed by the competitive world today. I would like to mention a few examples of people, really not so great, but who changed the course of history and achieved great heights. Einstein was a low-level clerk when he dreamt of relativity. Mendel was a monk when he discovered genetics. Penicillin and Teflon were accidental discoveries. World Wide Web and the graphical user interface originated in labs but flourished elsewhere. So big ideas often tend to come from small places. I also take this opportunity to appreciate and congratulate the Smart India Hackathon team for conceptualizing and organizing such an interesting event of its kind which will reach out to a large number of technology students of more than 15,000 colleges in the country and motivate them to think out of box and offer innovative digital solutions for some of the daunting problems faced by the industry. More importantly, this initiative will help institutionalize the model for harnessing creativity and technical expertise of the youth in technical institutions. The central idea behind this approach is that the determinants of technological innovations are not confined in individual firms or in research institutions but also in a broad societal structure in which firms as well as knowledge institutes are embedded. This stresses the importance of individuals as sources of innovation. My department which functions under Ministry of Defense mainly deals with the indigenization, development and production of weapon systems, arms, ammunition and defense equipments to achieve self-reliance for the Defence Forces of India. Over the years, the department has established wide-ranging production facilities for various defence equipments through ordnance factories and defence public sector undertakings. The products manufactured include arms and ammunition, tanks, armoured vehicles, heavy vehicles, fighter aircrafts and helicopters, warships, submarines, missiles, ammunition, electronic equipments, earth moving equipments, special alloys and special purpose steel. With the objective of achieving self-reliance in defense production, the ordnance factories and DPSUs have been continuously modernizing and upgrading their capabilities and widening their product range. The DPSUs and OFB are striving to increase the indigenous content in equipment and products manufactured by them. A large number of major products have been developed through in-house research and development initiatives apart from producing a number of products and equipment through transfer of technology. Department of Defense Production has 9 DPSUs and Ordnance Factory Board with more than 135 units or divisions and other offices under DDP spread across the country. The DPSUs offer excellent career opportunities for the young graduates to work for development of modern weapon systems for our defense forces and contribute towards nation building. To contribute to the noble initiative of Smart India Hackathon, the Department of Defense Production has identified some problems with an aim to be self-sufficient in areas of research and development, design and maintenance of the products manufactured. The focus is also to develop indigenous technologies in line with the Make in India initiative of the government. The problem statements would also address the importance of intellectual property rights and the complexities involved to prevent companies IPR from being leaked or hacked while taking full benefit of information technology. Some of the problem statements are also intended to optimize the use of internet to improve functionality without compromising the security of the organization. 
I am sure that the technology students would find the problem statements of DDP very interesting and they will come up with innovative solutions to the problems that will help the DPSUs to improve their functionality. Thank you and all the best. Jai Hind.